I knew that that fight was going to be ridiculous. You have these two incredibly talented savages. We are going to see and watch the best UFC strawweight fight in the in the history. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! Oh my! That's a big. The one that starts all the exchanges. That range. Oh. UFC 248, March 7th, 2020, inside the T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. And while the headlining middleweight title fight between Israel Adesanya and Yoel Romero was a bit of a snooze fest, seriously don't watch this one, it was the other co-main event that was the highlight of the night and probably the greatest women's MMA fight ever. This fight being the UFC strawweight title bout between then and current champion Zhang Wei Li versus arguably the greatest fighter in that division in Joanna Janjacek. The match lasted all five rounds and both fighters threw a ridiculous total of 768 strikes with 351 of them being significant, which was actually 347% more than the aforementioned middleweight title bout. Wei Li retained her strawweight belt, but the story of the fight actually wasn't the win, it was what happened to Ioana's face during the match. As the fight went on, you can actually start to see some disfigurement on Ioana's head start to form. It starts off as a small bump in earlier rounds, but as soon as you enter the fifth and final round, her head then looks hilariously unproportional to the rest of her body as the swelling becomes worse and worse. Now, Joe Rogan commented that this specific hit from Wei Li was the one that triggered the development of the significant forehead swelling, but you can actually see Yuan's head start to bulge a little bit in the previous round, followed by a headshot punch from Wei Li. The punch that I think did the most damage was actually this crazy one in the fourth round, where you can see a punch being landed directly in the center of what is already a large injury on Yuan's forehead. If we watch it in slow motion, you can even see the fluid start to sort of ripple out from the location of the punch to the edges of the injury before it fades away. So why does this happen? Why does some bruising and swelling cause Joanna to look like a normal woman to some alien on a business trip from Mars? The best explanation is actually in the form of a blood clot forming in one of the layers of the forehead. Joanna sustains an injury known as a hematoma, which is when blood pools underneath a layer of skin. Vessels burst, and as a result, the blood inside escapes and accumulates at the site of injury, causing localized swelling. Hematoma injuries can actually be found wherever blood vessels, veins, arteries, and capillaries are found, but in Ioana's case, it's the forehead region of her head, which is where she was repeatedly punched by Wei Li. The scalp region of your head is made up of several layers, starting from the skin, which is the outermost layer, to the pericranium, which is the deepest layer and actually attaches to the surface of your skull. The L layer, or the loose areolar connective tissue layer, is a matrix of collagen and something called glycosaminoglycans, which make up this sort of spider web or Swiss cheese design between the adjacent A and P layers. It's also the one layer that's extremely susceptible to trauma, so more than likely, Ioana probably suffered a subgaleal hematoma, which is a hematoma related to this specific L layer. Now, when this hematoma starts to really get serious on Ioana's forehead, it doesn't stay particularly localized as there's no structure keeping the fluids in one place. As the fight goes on, that hematoma starts to spread across her forehead and even starts to drain down into the lateral parts of her face, which is why by the end of the match, she starts to sport this alien-like head shape. Oh my goodness, Yolanda's touching that bubble. She does not even look the same. You can temporarily treat hematomas with a few different methods, with the most immediate being compression of the vessels to mitigate the bleeding, as seen by her corner attempting this method in between rounds before she has to go back out there again. Another treatment method is to apply ice to the wound, as her team is doing at the end of the match, as cold temperature applied to vessels causes vasoconstriction, which is when vessels become smaller in diameter in response to the cold stimulus. Now, these two methods are unfortunately temporary fixes, as suffering a hematoma of this size will ultimately require surgery to drain the excess buildup of fluid in her forehead and temple region. All of this sounds pretty damn awful, but Joanna did post some updated photos online post-fight, and she looks to have had a successful operation and seems to be perfectly healthy. 
She's so tough. Yeah. That lady is as tough as human beings can possibly be. Oh, my gosh. Because she, like, never even flinched. Her forehead's twice the size of normal. She didn't even flinch. Kept throwing bombs. It was amazing. Yeah. After this loss, she then rematches Wei Li in another strawweight title bout at UFC 275 in the Singapore Indoor Stadium, June 2022. No hematoma anywhere in sight this time, but a slight overextension from Ioana causes her to be on the receiving end of an absolutely brutal back fist reaction, which not only dropped her, but resulted in a TKO loss. Here it is. Boom! Look at that on the carotid archery, on the jaw, the whole forearm lands with a tremendous amount of power. She then announces her retirement from combat sports, but does so after an incredible fight and an incredible career in the UFC.